Welcome back to my channel, Book Talks with Yo. My name is Joanna, and this is the start of my buzzword readathon. So, uh, maybe you probably already know what buzzword readathon challenge is. But in case you don't know, this is a monthly uh, challenge, reading challenge that happens the first week of each month. And you're basically given a word and you have to read books that consist of uh, this word, that have this word in their titles. And I think, I believe it was originally created by Books with Lala, which I really love this channel. So yeah, but I haven't yet joined the Buzzwords Readathon. This is my first time joining and I'm really excited to see how it goes. I am going with the March challenge, obviously. Today is the 1st of March. And the word for this month is time. So let me just quickly read you the books from my um, TBR. So I'm planning to read The Time Traveler's Wife because I've wanted to read this book for quite some time. So I'm excited to finally check it out. I also am planning to listen to Time and Time Again as I think I found it as an audio book. Uh, and then I want to read The Time Traveler's Guide to Elizabethan England and the one to Medieval England, also two different books. I don't know where I could get to both books, but if I can get to only one, I'll probably read the Elizabethan England first because I'm really interested in that time. And it sounds like something very different. I found this book very randomly, so I don't know what to expect, but it sounded cool. So yeah. It's actually, this is supposed to be the first day of the readathon and it's already um, almost 8 p.m. I was planning to start filming sooner, but I had a really busy day at uni and then we went for a walk. It was a really nice uh, foggy walk. So yeah, I forgot to film earlier, but yeah, this is the start of the vlog. Now I'll have to do some editing for later, but then I will probably start with the time traveler's wife finally and I will update you as I go on. Surprise, surprise! It's, um, it's actually the next day and it's the 2nd of February. It's the second day of this um, reading week, weekend, week walk, reading week walk. And I didn't read yesterday. I know. Uh, but in my defense, I had a good reason. I spent a lot of time editing a video, the cooking uh, with the friends cookbook video that you've probably would have seen by now? Yeah, by the time you see this video, you will have seen the other one. And I spent a lot of time editing yesterday, it was around 2am when I finished. But it turned out great and it's one of my favorite videos that I've ever filmed, so I'm not sorry about this. But now, after I had a very busy day of classes, meetings and just studying, I finally have time to read. And as you can notice, we are again in the kitchen because I'm cooking dinner. And if you've watched my other reading vlogs, you know that my favorite thing is to listen to audiobooks while cooking. So this is what I'm going to be doing. And I decided that instead of, um, well, not instead of, I'm not um, removing books from my TBR, I'm adding one. And this is this time next year, because I realized it had time in it. It is on my list. I have the audiobook, so why not just read it? And it sounds like a very, um, light-hearted and fast read, which is what you need in a week-long reading vlog, so I think that would be good. And I'll listen to it while I'm cooking, I'll probably get a good hour and something, well hopefully, into the book, so yeah, that would be good. And then I will update you, and my plan, my plan, hopefully it will be carried out, is to start The Time Traveler's Wife as well later this evening. So yeah, now let's get cooking and listening to this audiobook. So, dinner is cooked. It took me a bit more than an hour and a half, and I've been listening to the audiobook the whole time. It is good so far, it's intriguing, it's interesting. I am not sure how much I'm liking this exact audiobook, like not the narrative, but the very audiobook. It's not, it's not bad, it's, it's okay. And the characters, the main character, I'm still getting it, uh, finding it difficult to like her, to be honest, but I've been just an hour and 40 minutes in and it's, I don't know, it's around eight hours, so I have still a lot of time to like this character and get to know her more. 
the story is interesting, it's original, it's about those two people who have been born on the same day, on the same year, uh, on New Year's Eve, uh, a minute apart, and they meet randomly at that party and she, the girl is called Minnie and she hates the guy who is called Quinn because he stole her name. But yeah, I, I'm not very much, I'm like, I'm not far into that book, so don't want to talk about it before I've read more. But yeah, now I will go have dinner and then I'll do some more work and then probably read. So, it is day three of the readathon and I still haven't started the Time Traveler's Wife, but I will today finally. Yes, you just had to finish another book for uni and I didn't have the time to. But uh, today I listened to another, I think around an hour from the audiobook um, that I'm listening, this time next year. And I'm still not sure how exactly I feel about it, but I'm liking it, like, I'm, I'm entertained enough to want to continue listening. I'm still not sure how, I, how much I like the main characters, but it, it is alright, it is, um, it is funny. They are, they are, well, they, I, don't think they are so lovable right now, the characters, but they are interesting enough, so I want to learn more about them and their stories, so that's good. And as I said, I'm going to start The Time Traveler's Wife today, and I'll let you know what I think a bit later. I already had my class, it's uh, almost 1pm, I had a class, I filmed another video, and now I will have lunch, then probably listen to some more of the audiobook, then I'll go for a walk, and then start The Time Traveler's Wife, hopefully. But another thing that I did this morning is I ordered um, the Time Traveler's Guide to uh, Elizabethan England. I had it on my um, ebook, but something about it just... Yeah, I just wanted to have the physical book in me, so I just ordered it. And I feel like it can be useful for my research for my next book, so... Yeah, that was my excuse this morning when I ordered it from Amazon. It should arrive tomorrow, so I'll start reading that one as well, because I'm really excited. It is bigger than I supposed it would be, like it is around um, 480 pages or something like this. I thought it would be something like 200 pages or something similar, but it is not. So I don't know whether I'll be able to finish them by the end of this week, but at least I've started them, so that's good I guess. But yeah, I'll update you later. So, it's actually 1am and um, I came back from my walk around 9, it was a really great walk, I went for a walk with my friend and uh, I came back around 9, um, we had dinner and we're actually watching a series, um, we're, we were meant to watch just an episode or two but now it ended up into a binge watch and I feel like we will finish the series tonight. So this is why I haven't read yet. I, I'm guessing, I'm hoping I'll be able to start the book when I go to bed, but we'll see whether that happens or no. But tomorrow my other book arrives, so I'll be able to start that one as well. But yeah, I'll probably update you again tomorrow because it's pretty late now. So it's the 4th of March and it's currently um, 12 p.m. and well, I listened to another hour of the audiobook today and I've already listened to a, a bit more than four hours and I have, I think, six more left, so I'm fairly confident that I'll be able to finish this audiobook and I'm enjoying it more now. I'm still... Mm, I think it will be a three star read, three out of five stars, for now at least. It is not bad, it is entertaining enough, it is good. Um, it has some interesting and unexpected um, things happening and um, the, the side characters are funny enough to be likeable. Uh, as I said, I'm expecting my book today to arrive, it should arrive later this afternoon and I'm so excited to see how it looks. I have uh, I had a meeting in the morning and I have a class a bit later and until my class I'll just spend some time editing my book. But after this, I will finally start reading. Yeah, this is going great. It's day four and I haven't started reading the book, but I promise, I promise myself that I will start it today. Yesterday, I just had to 
finish this series that we were watching, you just had to. But yeah, I will update you probably when my uh, book arrives. So, my parcel arrived finally and I haven't opened it yet, I wanted to open it in front of you. I don't think I need it, I don't need it. Don't need this. I'm excited to see how it looks. Many people said that it was a very beautiful book. Oh, okay. Here is the cover. It's a very interesting type of paper to the touch. It's it's not a typical type of paper, but yeah, it says Time Traveler's Guide to Elizabethan England uh, As accessible and entertaining a guide as you will find to living in past times by sending times And this book is by Ian Mortimer Haven't heard of him before, but there were so many good reviews about this one And as I said, oh, there are pictures, wait Oh you can see some pictures. As I said, I won't, not only I'm not only reading it. Wow. Okay. Uh, sorry. I'm not only reading it as part of my readathon, but I'm also I'm also going to use it as a. Uh, there is something on the spine. Okay, never mind. But yeah, I'm also using it as a research for my future writing project. So yeah, that's a win-win. It looks very good. I'm happy that there are illustrations as well. And yeah. I'm excited to see how that goes. Let me just show you something else. Some more illustrations here. But yeah, I will hopefully start reading it later today. I still have to do some studying and some editing, like video editing. But after this, I'll probably start this one. And before bed this time, I'm starting The Time Traveler's Wife, as I promised myself. But yeah, I will update you after I do some more work. So, it's Friday, it's the fifth day of the readathon, and um, it's currently um, 2.30, a little bit past 2.30, and I am about to get dressed and go to work. But I decided to just quickly update you. So I haven't read much today because I had classes and meetings in the morning. My last class ended a bit ago. Uh, but I managed to listen to almost another hour of the audiobook um, this morning while I was tidying up the place. And yesterday I started reading that one. I read just around 10 pages, but I'm not really, I'm not trying to rush it because I am using it as research for my next book and I want to be as detailed as possible, but from my um, my impression so far is that it's very very good. It's it's written in a very interesting way. It's not just uh, facts and historical evidence. It's more creative than this, and it's more trying to transport you uh, at that time and that place in Elizabethan England and show you all some interesting details that you wouldn't find in a, for example, historical a history book or something like this. So yeah, I'm enjoying it really, I'm enjoying it a lot and I will continue reading it later today. And I started the Time Traveler's Wife, I didn't read much because I was tired and I went to sleep um, pretty fast after I went to bed, but I started it and it is a very gripping ride from the beginning, so I'm looking forward to coming home from work today and just reading. Hopefully I won't be too tired, so have time to make some progress in this book because I don't have that much left time left. But yeah, oh time pun. But yeah, I will update you after my shift at work. So it's 11 p.m. Yeah, 11 p.m. and I got back from work some time ago and we had dinner. And I'm a bit tired, but I will just um stay on the couch, lay there on the couch and spend some time reading The Time Traveler's Wife. Um, I don't know how much I will, how much reading I'll get done because I am sleepy, but I'll try my best to make a dent into the book. At least I'll try to, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, a uh, quick update. It is Saturday and it's um, it's 11 right now and I woke up around 9 this morning, I did my workout and then I listened to around 20 minutes of the audiobook 
And um, yeah, let me just quickly update you actually on yesterday. I read a bit more than 35 pages from The Time Traveler's Wife and it is so good. It's like, it is slightly confusing. It is confusing, but at the same time, this is what, it ma what makes it so interesting and gripping. And I honestly can't wait to read more. I would have read more, but I could feel my eyes closing when I finished reading. So I was like, no, it's better to just leave it than fall asleep and don't remember what I read. But yeah, this morning I, I had to read a play for my module at uni. Uh, it's a modern play. And it honestly wasn't my cup of tea. Things like this can put you in a reading slump. Um, but I've read it and now I have to listen to my lectures and take some notes But I'll go make my coffee first and listen to some more of the audiobook while doing this and um, I don't know whether I will read before work or after work, but I'll update you as I go So just a really quick update. It's 1.30 a.m. And I came back from work earlier. We had dinner and I spent spend a few minutes editing my book but my brain is too tired for this so now I'll just chill and read more of the book um, I am not working tomorrow so I'll be able to get a lot more reading and hopefully so that's good but yeah I was very interested in the book yesterday so I hope I won't be too tired and I'll be able to read some more today because as I said it is it is confusing yet, but it's still in the same time it's very gripping and it's holding you at the edge of your seat wanting to find out what is happening. So yeah, I'm excited to learn more about it, but I'll probably update, update you again tomorrow morning when I wake up because I'm tired and there is a big risk of me falling asleep while I'm reading again. So, it is Sunday, it's um, the 7th of March and this is the last day of the Buzzwords Readathon. Um, it's almost noon today, but I'm honestly not regretting it because I needed that extra sleep. I let myself sleep in today, so that was great. And I listened to around half an hour of the audiobook while I was washing my hair this morning. And yeah, uh, I think I'll be able to finish at least the audiobook today, which is which is good, at least one book. Um, yesterday I read um, a few more pages, I don't know, I think it was around 20 pages from the book and I fell asleep again, as I said I would, but today I'm not working so I'll have time to read more of all the books I'm reading right now and I won't finish them, even if I try to be optimistic and know that I won't be able to finish them, but at least I'll be able to make some progress in them so I can do my opinion in the end. But yeah, now I'll just uh, spend some time editing my book first and then I will get to reading. But I'll update you as I go on with my day. So I've been listening to the audiobook for the past three hours almost, well, two hours and a half because I'm building something. Um, this is for another video that will be up after some time, but I'm building a... Um, it's something like a 3D puzzle, but not exactly. I don't know what I can see. It's a... Um, it's like a bookshop or a study, and it is very complex. Like It took me a lot of time to build those, but I'm having a lot of fun doing that. And hopefully you will be able to see the video after some time. Uh, it will take me a few days to build up this, but... Yeah, uh, in the meantime, I was enjoying my cup of coffee and I was listening to the audiobook and I have just just an hour and a half left, a little less than that even, and I will be done with this book and I'll be able to tell you what I think. But yeah, I don't think my feelings have changed a lot about the book, or at least they haven't improved. They've actually deteriorated a bit. I'll tell you more about it when I finish it so I can have a full opinion on it. But yeah, I'll update you in a bit. So, I am planning to read some more of this book and listen to a playlist on Spotify that I got an ad for, the Reading Chill Out one. I haven't listened to it, but I wanted to check it out while I'm reading this one. Or no, now maybe that I'm thinking about it, that I'm thinking about it. I think I want something, some music that would transport me more to that period. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll figure it out 
before um, starting to read. But yeah, I will spend some time reading. I have an hour, less than an hour left from the audiobook, so I'm really excited to finish that. And um, yeah, we'll see. It's almost, well, it's not almost, it's precisely 8 o'clock, so yeah, let's get, uh, let's get to reading. This is the end of the Buzzword Readathon March edition and um, what I did in this week is I finished the audiobook which was... it was alright. It was not a bad read per se. It had some cute moments but it was also nothing remarkable. It was rather too slow paced for me if I have to be honest and I love, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, I love slow paced romantic books, but this one was too slow paced and some parts just felt like they were not really necessary and felt a bit redundant and just, um, yeah, they didn't have place in that book and I think that this book could have been a hundred pages shorter because there was some information, some moments that felt out of place and felt artificial even, um, as if they were meant to be there only to make the book, the book look bigger or something like this, but this is just my opinion. And I did find the concept interesting, it wasn't a rather original idea, we have this girl Minnie, Minnie Cooper, and this guy Quinn, and they were born on the same day uh, with a minute uh, difference. They were born on New Year's Eve, um, not sure which year, but um, they, uh, yeah, they were born at the same time, at the same place, their mothers uh, gave birth to them at the same place and they were together, but then their lives are completely different. We have Minnie who is rather unlucky and she believes in this jinx that she has on her birthday so on every New Year's Eve she believes that she is the unluckiest person and bad things happen to her. But she's also a baker, she's a chef and she makes those, um, I think she makes pies and she has this company together with her best friend Lewa. They sell pies, no they give pies to people in need or, or something like this which was a, a, a good idea and I loved um, the side characters there, I loved Lewa, I loved her her boyfriend Ian and the other people who were working in this, um, uh, well it's a firm I guess, it was called No Hard Feelings which was cool. And then we have Queen who is born in this very affluent family and um, it seems like he's living the best life but in the same time he has a lot of problems as his mother is dealing with severe anxiety and this is obviously affecting him and it's been affecting him since his childhood and yeah it was uh it was original i should admit that it is original story although it had some of those uh the drunk moment and you know all this i love you i don't love you the bad guy and the good girl something like this but it was dealt with in a not, not such a bad manner. I, I gave it 3 out of 5 stars so I didn't hate the book but I just didn't love it. It was, it was okay. And then I read some more of this book and I'm actually lo absolutely loving it. I'm just at the beginning obviously but it is written in a great way. It is very original, it's really transporting you back to that time and that place which is what I want from a book, especially a book like this. And I'm going to take my time with it because it's a, I'm reading it as a research so I need to be precise and I want to um, remember as many of the details as I can. I'm taking notes as well. So yeah, but um, I feel like this would be a five star read. And when it comes to The Time Traveler's Wife, it was a very good, it is a very good book as well. I haven't read it, I haven't finished it, but I'm around a hundred pages in so I can say that so far it's gripping. As I said, it, it still is confusing at some moments, but it's less confusing than it was in the beginning. And I feel like it might as well be a four out of star, four, four out of five star speed because it is it is gripping. It keeps me on my toes. It keeps me wanting to read and learn more. But yeah, I'll be able to tell you more about it when I finish it. But yeah, so this is the end of the vlog. Really hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my new videos. 
please let me know down in the comments if you've read any of those books and what were your thoughts on them. Thank you once more for watching and I really hope to see you all next time. Until then, have a smiley week. Bye!